Now to a story you'll only see here on News 5. Right before Congresswoman Lauren Boebert went to the House chambers and voted against impeachment, our Collab Bordelon had the chance to interview her about a range of topics, including her Twitter posts, which were temporarily blocked today. She joins us now with more on her exclusive one-on-one -on -one conversation. There's a lot of ground to cover. It seems like almost every day there are new headlines about Congresswoman Lauren Boebert. From the metal detectors to the riots at the Capitol and her personal Twitter account. Here's what the representative had to say. It's not unusual for people to jump to conclusions about what I'm saying. Exactly a week after the riots at the nation's capital, there was a lot to ask Colorado's newly elected Congresswoman Lauren Boebert. The Democrats do have a, a very slim majority. So I think working across the aisle uh, will be much more possible than it has been in the past. First up, the new metal detectors at the Capitol. Boebert has talked about carrying a sidearm. She was reported to have set off the detectors on Tuesday. She told us it was probably her cell phone and her purse that did it. This is just a publicity stunt from leadership. Then to a tweet that got lots of attention sent out on the morning of January 6th, saying today is 1776. They broke the glass. Ultimately the day the Capitol would be attacked. It had nothing to do with violence, and I certainly did not call for violence. Conservatives do not tear down our country. We do not tear down our cities. We do not destruct. We do not bash in windows or, or kill police officers. She says the tweet was about her objection to the certification of electoral college results. And when asked if her social media presence or rhetoric contributed to the riots, she pointed the finger at Democrats. They have normalized the violence. They have encouraged this violence and they have shown it to be an effective tool to get their agenda across the line. The Congresswoman had no comment for Rural Colorado United, which organized protests pushing for her recall last week. There are many issues when it comes to our land, our water, our energy needs, our economy. Uh, and these are all issues that I want to tackle right away. But I'm being prevented from from doing so because we are trying to impeach a man who will be out of office in less than a week. When asked about her priorities for the first 100 days in office, Boebert wants America to be energy dominant, calling renewables unreliable. Boebert wants a full investigation into the U.S. Capitol riot, saying Capitol Police have told her there were lots of instigators involved. Now she does say all criminals should be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. I have much more on this interview already up for you on KOAA.com. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado. Colette Bordelon, News 5.